Sparrows and starlings come and eat the chicken food, which is a pain because it's a waste of food, the uh, waste of chicken feed, and the chickens don't really get a chance. So, I'll be shooting with this today. My new slash old gun, which is exceptionally accurate um, with the HN &E Terminators. So, if I grab this target here. This is my best ever shooting. That's 16 pellets in that big hole there. So that's what we'll be shooting with today. Um, I got out 10 of my H&M pellets. I put them in my pocket here. But what I also am going to do is I'm going to take about 30 of these Caulfield pellets because they're the cheaper pellets. My H&M ones are really expensive. So I don't really want to use too many of them. So I'm going to go see where these are shooting with um, with this gun because I have sighted in um, this gun with the H&M pellets, not the field pellets. So we'll go have a look and hopefully the day goes well and we can actually get some birds in the bag. So let's get into it. All right, so we're going to test the um, field pellets and see where they're shooting on that little target there um so hopefully i can be able to knock out some sparrows well, they're pretty much dead on so no, i pulled that one Okay, so if I shoot one more in that same hole, I'll be pretty happy with that. Alright, so that's basically bullseye right there. It's really good. It's what we want. So, uh, hopefully we can bag a few um, sparrows and starlings and whatnot. So uh, let's go and shoot some sparrows and starlings. So I gotta go put out the feed for the chickens and the sparrows should start coming in. So we should be able to get some birds. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna try. I've moved the camera so I can access it really well. So, and we've already got some a few sparrows. See me. Trying to get some feed, so I'll just load a pellet into the rifle and hopefully pop one off. Mm, there's quite a few coming in. Okay, I think I got one. I think. I'm not sure if that was him who flew away or another one. But I'm pretty sure. I, I'm pretty sure I dropped one stone cold in the grass over here. Yep, alright guys, so I got him right in the head. That's a real good shot. So first bit of the day, oh, there's a bit of nerves going on. So first bit of the day, one down. Hopefully we can get a few more. This is real good guys, I'm pretty happy. Oh. 
We hit him. I think I hit a little to the left. I mean to the right, so. Plenty of feathers came off that little, little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot that with the H&N pellets and uh, see where it's shooting at so I can go bit, uh, for a bit of rabbit shooting a bit later on. So let's shoot this. Right, so that's uh, five shots. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was five shots, and just that one. I just pulled one of them, um, but that's that's a pretty tight group for four four shots. That's four shots in two holes, and they're shooting straight through this phone book. So yeah, so. I think we'll be fine, even though it's not hitting right on the drop. Um, that's because I'm a bit closer than usual. But that's all good. Because if there's a rabbit a bit further out, then I know that I can get a solid shot on it. So That grouping's what I want. Really good, so hopefully we can bag a rabbit a bit later on. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Sadly, I didn't end up being able to get a rabbit. I did go down to the road to where I normally shoot the rabbits. But there was nothing there, which really sucked. So, that's it for this video. In the next video, I should hopefully be fishing. But sadly, I won't be able to use the camera that I've been filming on today in the last video. Um, because it's my parents' camera and they don't want me to take it down. Um, fishing in there, which is fair enough, but um, yeah, so hopefully we can catch a trout or I might go early, but I'll be definitely, I'll definitely be trying out that um, new reel, so um, yeah, catch you on the next video, hope you guys have a good week and we'll see you next time.